Hello, Internet Sister Root. On the way back from work, taking the usual longer ride than usual, as I usually do, I came across some anti choice protesters showing some really graphic, obscene images. Likely stolen from a hospital, who knows where. But I simply told them that they are not going to abolish that part of the charter that they want to get rid of. You know, freedom of choice. And I told them they're never going to take away women's rights. And you know what they did? They simply just ignored me as per what they're told to be doing by their church. So, yeah. I, that's all I could say. So I just simply, I wasn't about to say anything else because, you know, they're delusional and there's not much else you can do. So I just carried on. Got to Young and Dundas. I thought, what the heck is going on there? So I crossed the street, walked the bike in there. Turns out there's rib best. So I bought a rack of ribs. Full rack. $35. Just the ribs, that's it. I ate half of them. They were fucking good. I still got more. And I'll eat them later. Everything is, when I was trying to cross the street to get here, because yes, I missed the first light, so I had to wait patiently for the change. Some motorists ran the red light, obviously, but I don't do that shit. Because. It's not worth, you know, getting severely injured over, and it's not worth that kind of gamble. And the other part is, should I say, uh, I bumped into this fringe recruiter. Yep, under one of the fringe, the lunatic delusional fringe. He was going on and on about all these hatchet conspiracy theories that aren't real. I told them they weren't real. I told him I was an ex. He didn't seem to give a shit. He was still trying to recruit me. Still trying to hand out these flyers. He's uh, a little bit taller than me. Probably in his 40s, 50s, or 60s. And uh, I was a little bit of a talk with him. Not a debate, because it's pointless debating someone who's, you know, it's so deeply entrenched in a cold influence that they're delusional, so I told him none of that's real. I told him I'm an ex. And uh, he probably assumed I was gay, but I'm not. I fly the flags because I consider myself an ally. So there's nothing wrong with that. He called me okay, pride guy. That's he called me. Look at the shit. So, I told him, repeatedly told him, none of that's real, none of that's happening, you know, martial law, blah, 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 blah. I told him, none of that's happening. He told me I need to wake up, except Jesus. I said, what? I'm agnostic. I didn't tell him that, but still. I said, is he going to give me a plane ticket? Tried to put some humor, but he didn't get the humor. Most of the fringe don't get humor. That's the problem. They take it too seriously. I was hoping he'd laugh, you know. I was hoping he'd actually sense the humor, but he didn't. It blew right past him. So, I carried on my way up Young Street to Brewer <coughs> to get here. And, uh, made a right once the uh, four ways went on, you know, when the intersection becomes this pedestrianized. Made my way here. <coughs> and uh, I'm on my second large soda. I'm definitely going to add salt to the third one so I don't throw my soda in. Love us out of whack and so if you don't like shit, if you know what I mean. If you drink too much water of anything, you too much liquid, that doesn't have enough electrolytes, you're going to get a bit fucked. And you don't want that. Anyways, uh, rather short. Five minute video blog. That's nothing bad. Using this decapitated wired headset is a great microphone. Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching. HDR2.